Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. Friends, in today's episode, I'll be talking about one misconception about the five elements of life. The misconception is also about the perishable elements of life and non-perishable means the elements in which there is uh, the law of transition works or the elements which are bound in time and space which keeps changing so these elements are called perishable elements of life there are elements which does not have any impact of time and space means those elements are imperishable they simply exist they we cannot say they come into existence they go out of existence they simply exist so those elements are non perishable elements we have all heard that the whole existence the whole cosmos is made up of five great elements and these five great elements are akash <laughs> vayu agni jal prithvi or earth element so these are the five elements so it is a very popular concept among the preachers and in so many other religious books that the this existence is made up of these five elements but we want to tell you from the yogic science point of view what is the reality behind these five elements using which or the whole existence is composed of these five elements but there is one thing which we all should consider which is that if these are these five elements are the elements which compose the whole existence right but then the whole existence will be the perishable existence there won't be any element in this existence which is unperishable or which cannot be destroyed everything will be destroyed everything is destroyable it means this if these five elements are perishable elements from the yogic science point of view we want to propose that the five elements using which the whole cosmos the whole existence is created is being created all the time basically or actually these five elements are non perishable elements these elements are not earth water you know the you can say the agni tej right the air and the space okay out of these five space is non perishable okay but the other four are perishable according to yogic science these are not the five elements using which the whole existence has been made up of the five elements as we have already in many episodes uh, propounded that the five elements are the within the prakriti there are three right sakar nirakar and jeev okay these three are within this whole prakriti so these three are non perishable elements they don't perish jeev 
never perishes it remains right the two elements within the prakriti okay which is sakar and nirakar okay these two elements are also non perishable they don't perish there is no effect of time and space right so these are the three elements the fourth one is the pure energy of parmatma or consciousness which controls everything within the prakriti that is the fourth one and the fifth one is where all these things are established right established or you can say the drashta that is also unperishable non perishable these five elements are beyond time and space they keep work they are always in action now one more thing which is very very important and which has to be understood very deeply why we call these elements non perishable why not perishable these elements are called non perishable just because they are always in action but they don't produce anything there is no production there is no residue because of the action of these five elements so these five elements are always in action right but there is no residue out of it that is why if there is no residue there is no memory there is no concept of memory right and that is why they are non perishable there is no effect of anything there is no time element in this because time element is introduced the moment there is memory in some people have experienced that the memory is time or time is memory right so that is why these five elements are called non perishable because there is no element of time and space in it why because there is no residue out of their actions so their actions is pure pure in the sense it does not produce any by product or any product so nothing is produced out of it but they are always in action that is why they are always in action always in the sense always does not mean there is a time element in it always means eternity so these five elements are eternal elements so the view of yogic science is entirely different from the prevalent view of five elements so the whole cosmos the existence is not made up of those five perishable elements earth water etc okay but these five elements are the sakar nirakar jivatmas or conscious agents then the pure energy of consciousness or parmatma and drashta you can say so these are the five elements non perishable elements right now there is one more question which may arise the question is if the i mean the existence is composed of the five non perishable elements then why is there perishability or why everything keep changing in this existence in this life everything is changeable everything is is changing right because when jiva enters you see jiva is just in between between the sakar and nirakar right sakar and nirakar are also called by many saints okay the jeev brahma or maya nirakar brahma sakar maya and jeev is jeev conscious agents right so when in the prakriti jeev is pushed into the sakar sakar prakriti 
then in this akar the jeev starts accumulating things and creating so many forms okay it creates forms the form is destroyed again it it creates form etc etc so the form which is created by the jeevas that form is perishable right so that form is composed of right right these five perishable elements okay earth water air okay akash space etc right but the whole existence the whole life okay it is composed of only non perishable elements which i have just explained so this misconception has to be removed if we need to understand truly what actually the existence is composed of right so i mean the, this is this was a misconception okay and it is already there okay with so many people right because we due to our you know conditioning okay we always think in terms of uh, uh, earth water space right air etc okay so we always think in terms of these five elements okay? but these five elements are perishable elements right they exist only in the sakar prakriti but prakriti is not only sakar it is sakar nirakar okay there is jeevas also in prakriti and the whole prakriti is controlled by the pure energy of consciousness so that element is also there right so this was i something i wanted to share with all of you okay so that uh, we can have the clear understanding of the reality of five elements so again i repeat what are these five elements okay out of which the whole existence is composed of the five elements are the sakar nirakar and jeevas which are in the prakriti then the energy of pramatma pure consciousness and the drashta these are the five elements right and to support the creativity right or to propel the creativity okay in the prakriti right uh, there are three types of you know creative energy okay i have already talked about three types of uh, you know shabd okay which is happening uh, by the energy of consciousness okay so this is uh, the i mean slow medium and very fast movement of energy okay so these three types of uh, energies okay are responsible for the creative process within the prakriti okay and that is why there are the variety of things in the prakriti due to these three main types of energies the slow energy is responsible for something to be created okay if creation takes place right then the slow energy is required and when life has to be maintained right then medium type of energy is required and when you know the you know life uh, is exhausted okay so in order to exhaust life okay the energy is very fast okay so so that one form is exhausted and again another form starts right so these are the three types of energies or shabd or prakash so keep in mind okay the there are non perishable elements okay Uh, which uh, composes the whole existence okay not the earth water etc the earth water air akash space okay these five elements are there in the sakar prakriti only in the sakar and out of these five right one is uh, non perishable which is akasha or shabd and the four others are perishable that's all in this episode hopefully in the next episode 
although I have come after a long time. Okay, in this episode. So in the next episode, uh, I'll come up with a new topic, a topic which is based on the misconception among the people and what is the reality behind it. Thank you.